everyone. Um, I've uh, got a few projects that I'm going to do and included in them is three boxes. So I thought I'd show you the making of these boxes. Um, this was a template I just found online and really what, why I chose this one is because um, it looks quite a complicated box but really I wanted to show you that it's these are not as complicated as you think they are when you actually start doing them so I specifically picked up quite a complicated looking one to show you so the size of this template that I'm using is let's go to inches roughly about eight and a half by about ten ten inches and um, I'm using a bit of oak here which is just over two and a half inches and then I'm using a, let me move this bit off I'm using a piece which is about an inch thick for the back and um, it, I just happened to buy a, a great big slab in this thickness so I bought some extra inch sheets of um, oak as well just to do for the back so basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just show you with the help mostly of time lapse with these because you know the box pro um, projects are really quite big but I wanted to just talk, take you through my method of how I do it. So as you can see we've got, we've got an outer line out round here that is going to be the outer line of our box. I have got the bit missing at the top but I shall actually just draw that in. Um, so the first part that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut the outer edge and get the shape on that which I can then use for the template for the base. Um, so I'm going to go away and do that and then I'll come back and explain the next bit. I'm going to try and break the steps down a little bit so that um, I can show you that they're really not that complex to do. That I could stay Wish for this moment To never go away But it's all in my mind So uh, the next bit That I need to do now is um, This has an outer border This box Like most boxes with these complex drawers have They all have an outer rim And that's what gets people Usually very confused Thinking oh it, that looks a difficult box to cut because once you take this outer which is about half an inch I would say it varies in in areas once you take that off it actually gives us a way in to cut all these outer boxes out so um, and then I'll explain these inner ones um, a lot of you out there that do boxes you'll always already know how this is all cut but this is for those that are hoping to try these in the future so anyway, the next bit now will be to cut this outer of the box. Thinking about what your life came to be You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light Okay, we're at the bandsaw now. It's actually a couple of days later since I did that last bit and I've had this um, outer edge taped since then. But let me take this off. I just keep a piece of tape around that just to keep the edge on it really so it doesn't flare out at all. So this is the box ready to cut now. I shall... Um, I'll probably start at the bottom here now as you can see on these I mean they've got inner boxes as well but you actually cut out the small boxes and then you go in to the big boxes and that's how you get right the way in and then once the glue up goes all these bits actually sit back to where they were so the drawers fit in and out
Right, that's all the boxes cut. Probably took about half an hour or so to get them all cut um, with the inner boxes. Obviously, that's the outer shell now. Um, I need to do some... I think I need to take this template off. I think I'll make this into a 3D one as well. Um, so we'll get onto that in a minute or two. But I'm going to now... Uh, all I do, basically, I do it by hand, is draw the back... And the front on the box and then I take them to a bandsaw with a, a half an inch blade cut those off and then I actually draw the once the front's off I actually draw the inner box in take it back to the small bandsaw cut all the little boxes out and um, that would be us ready for gluing then I'm going to put all that on time lapse just to try and keep the video down as short as possible but see as much as possible so um, so yeah, I'm going to get on, we'll go away and get all these done and sorted out. that's all the boxes glued together and I've sanded them as well um, I've just rounded off the edges they've still to be hand sanded um, a finish so uh, not quite finished yet but just about um, I'm going to go away and give these all their fine sanding and then I shall coat them in sand sealer um, which is mixed sand sealer 50% and cellulose because it's cellulose sanded sealer and cellulose thin is 50% and then that that's actually going to be the boxes ready I'll give a, a rub over with a probably a 400 and just to take I don't know if you can see there but just to take any squareness off the, the corners there the the fronts so that's that bit done um, this obviously still not all been glued yet it's still held by tape I use um, the drum sanders by the way these ones just go in a drill and I put them in my pillar drill they're great for rounding off edges and then for the ones that have got tight bends in that I can't get in with this I use a spindle sander so the next part now is um, to get the tree done so I've cut some half inch slices here and I'm not even sure what wood it is um, but anyway I have cut the tree template and then I cut it into smaller bits so it's got like an intarsia look on the top um, which I'll explain more once I've uh, done it if you've watched my previous box then you'll know what what the um, the look is that I'm, I'm going for so um, I'll go to the I'm going to go on to the oh god bandsaw and using an eighth of an inch blade I'm going to cut these out this could be cut out on a scroll saw which I have but I don't have in this shed so I'm just going to use the bandsaw
What if I would tell you that things don't happen once, they always come back? What if I could throw us back to the very moment when we had our luck? Suddenly, it's clear to me. Okay, as you see, that's all these bits cut out now. Um, they come out quite all right. They're never right until I get them all sanded and shaped. A bit fell off there. The, these are now sand sealed and um, ready for lacquer. Uh, I use two coats of, um, I just use auto lacquer, any of the cheap lacquers. And in between, I sand with about 400 grit, just a light sand and then another coat. It just gives it a smoother finish. It's lovely and smooth to snow because after the sand sealer, I used 600 grit to go over. So that's those all done and ready for handles to be put onto those. Uh, so the, the next part that I need to do now is I need to sand. So e each block that I've got now, when they come to an adjoining part, I sand them down to 45 degrees at those angles so that they dip down to join each other like Intarsia does. And the same with the, the one coming off it, I'll sand that down to 45 degrees. Then I'll slightly round over all the edges and on this box I actually slope them down towards the end so that they sort of come down and they're just slightly, maybe an eighth of an inch above the, the front at the end parts. So I, I do that as well. I do that with, um, I just use a Dremel and also need to take the fronts off and um, just put those on the bench sander and just sand them down. Uh, so they're finished and then all the edges are rounded off as well just so that it's got a smooth look to it So I'm gonna go away and do that and then I shall um, also sand the front of the box here um, <coughs> I shall actually at this point get Just the, the tree bit to the outer. I should get that glued up and I shall sand the top and then we'll come back just before I glue everything in place Okay, that's the uh, box, the out, outer edges glued to the base. I've still to um, sand this down and glue it onto the back. The, I glued this centre piece on so I had something stable for making sure that these all fit correctly. These are not glued on as yet. Um, that's the next part that I'm going to go away and do now. The sanding's the biggest thing on them. So, uh, so really, there's not much more I can show you on this until we get to the handles, and I'll show you how I'm going to do the handles on it. Um, it should be quick and easy handles. So I'm going to go away, get this glued up, get the back glued up onto the box. Um, get it all sanded and sand sealed and um, we'll come back for the handles okay that's the back glued on um, still to be sanded that's this part glued on as well and uh, now I need to go in and just clean up the edges um, with the glue and to make sure that they're not overlapping at all um, there is like a little ridge there that's overlapping and what happens when these overlap sometimes is that the drawers get stuck in so um, I should use a Dremel bit and I will just basically go around those edges just make sure they're tight in clean up anything on there get the sand in for the outer box and then I will be ready to start sand sealing and finishing on that so meanwhile, while I go away and do all of that, I need to think about the um, the drawers and how I'm going to pull them out. Excuse me. Yeah, so we'll get on to the handles. So I just kept some of the scrap from this, um, 
which I will now use for the handles. Now if you watched the last big box that I did, the one with the Melly Bear on, um, I just extended branches, I'm going to do the same with this. Because I'm trying to keep it as tidy looking as possible. Now I have seen this box done and they put little slithers in the middle there but it just looks like for a lot of a lot of mess so and sometimes it, it's you can't avoid it but anyway the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to take little slithers like um, I'll think of maybe a bit of a branch bit coming off there so basically all I'm going to do is cut a bit like that can you see that I'm hoping I'll be able to zoom it in so you can see that enough so I'll just cut a little bit like that and then glue it into there, sand it down in the same way and it will slit, sit slightly lower but um, it will still look quite effective in there. So that's really what I'm going to go on and do now. So for each drawer I've got to go away and, and figure out where I'm going to add a little bit in and um, start cutting them out and getting these glued into place. Obviously the drawers are still just sand sealed so it's a bit, a bit tight fitting in there they're still sat just sand sealed so i want to get these glued onto them i want to get these sand sealed glued onto there and then before i varnish it so anyway i'm going to go away and do the finishing touches so it's just the sanding of the outer box sanding inside here to make sure the ridges are nice and, and flush and glue these little handles on. There's nothing spectacular in making these handles, it's just a little bit of wood on the side. Okay, I'll come back at the end. Okay, that's it all done. Took uh, probably about three days to, to complete it with the different stages with gluing and stuff like that. Um, drawers come out this is the way I've done the handles obviously they're just I've put them so they look like little extra bran uh, branches coming off but I'm not too sure if it's too much but uh, limited on what you can do really there's a good weight in this with it being oak Back. I didn't put a base onto this one. Um, it's pretty solid and quite big as it is, so um, and there is quite a good weight in it already. So I've just left it without the base. So anyway, I uh, had to skip quite a lot of bits in order to make the video short enough for yourselves, you know. And most of the stuff I think that I skipped is stuff I've maybe shown in the last bandsaw box video so um, you can always check that out um, I'll get some pictures up for you at the end but thanks very much for watching if you like what you see give me that thumbs up if you don't give me the thumbs down if you've not subscribed already and you want to see more please do press that subscribe button and feel free to share this as much as you want hope you enjoyed Thanks very much for watching.